This is a sample of the information provided as part of the flexible training resources available through HACCP.com. Our training courses are designed to provide training participants with an understanding of food safety and quality system elements and also offer user-friendly assessment activities and competency checklists to complete the training cycle. Pest and Vermin Control Key Definitions for Pest and Vermin Control Safety Data Sheet or SDS Safety data sheets are the internationally standardized way to document the hazardous properties of chemicals and other hazardous agents including information on toxicity, first aid, personal protection controls, storage and handling precautions spill and leak cleanup and disposal practices, transportation, physical data and reactivity data. Pest A pest is any unwanted and destructive insect or other animal which has characteristics that are regarded by humans as hazardous or unwanted. Vermin, objectionable pests, including small animals regarded as unwanted because they are destructive and can be disease-carrying. Pest and Vermin Control Development When considering the development, documentation and implementation of pest and vermin control within food safety and quality management systems, the following information should be considered to ensure effective outcomes about pest and vermin control. Types of pests. Pest control contractors. Pest control chemicals. Chemical handling and usage. About pest and vermin control. Animals and insects found in food establishments are considered pests because they can transmit diseases to humans by coming in contact with food and food contact surfaces. These pests must be given serious attention when they are found in food establishments and every action must be taken to eliminate them. It is generally accepted best practice to prevent pest entry to a food premises rather than removing pests once identified. Pests affecting food production can generally be divided into groups including birds, flies and flying insects, rodents, cockroaches and crawling insects. Stored products pests. Birds. Birds may pose a risk in any unspecified number or variety. It is most important that birds other than those legally intended for consumption are excluded from all areas of a food premises. Internal and external. Flies and flying insects. The public health significance of flies cannot be appreciated until it is realized that flies breed in decomposing animal and plant waste and feed on a variety of filth including feces, vomit and garbage. Flies transmit disease in the following ways, vomiting on food, to make solid foods liquid, the fly must regurgitate a portion of its previous meal on the food to liquefy it. Defecating on food Fly feces on food and food contact surfaces contribute to contamination. And carrying bacteria on its body, the fly is covered with bristles and hairs that carry bacteria. Three flies commonly observed within food businesses include, house fly. This fly is a major problem, particularly during warmer seasons. Blow fly. This fly is particularly attracted to meats in food establishments and will lay eggs on exposed foods and fruit fly or vinegar fly. This small fly is attracted to rotting and fermenting foods. Cockroaches and crawling insects. One of the hardest insects to control in food establishments is the cockroach. These insects are active when and where it is dark. When it is light, cockroaches hide in dark recesses between and under equipment, under sinks, in floor drains, etc. Because these areas generally cannot be properly cleaned. These insects come in contact with considerable filth and bacteria. The German cockroach contributes to most cockroach problems. It is a prolific breeder. Females carry their eggs in an egg case on the tip of the tail. The egg cases will be dropped in the best place for their development. Immature German cockroaches look like miniature replicas of the adults. Stored products pests. A number of beetles and several moths are found in food establishments from time to time. These pests are brought into the food establishment with contaminated food products such as flour, meal, grain, cereals, seeds, beans, nuts, pasta or spices. It does not take long for the pests to become so numerous that other similar foods in the establishment are attacked and contaminated. 
Foods containing these pests are adulterated and unsuitable for human consumption and usually must be destroyed or converted to animal feed. Rodents The house mouse is a common rodent pest. It could be found in almost any food establishment without an efficient rodent control program. The following attributes of the house mouse are important to facilitating effective pest controls. Mature individuals squeeze through a 3 cm diameter hole. It usually has a home range of 10 to 30 meters. It is a nibbler, eating a little bit here and there until satisfied. It contaminates foods, food contact surfaces of equipment and utensils, single-service articles and other supplies in food establishments with its feces and urine. It is a prolific breeder, having six or more litters of six to eight young a year. And it does not need drinking water to survive. The brown rat and black ship rat are also common rodent pests. These are generally encouraged into any food premises by poor housekeeping practices. General Control of Pests Deterring pests from entering the premises is a more effective method of control than ridding an infested premise of pests. The maintenance of a hygienic working environment is paramount in assuming control of pests. Pests pose a major threat to the safety and suitability of food. Pest infestations can occur where there are breeding sites and a supply of food. Good hygiene practices should be employed to avoid creating an environment conducive to pests. Good sanitation, inspection of incoming materials and good monitoring can minimize the likelihood of infestation and thereby limit the need for pesticides. Factors that greatly affect pest control efficiency include premises and equipment design and construction, maintaining cleanliness of floors, walls, ceilings and equipment, maintaining the integrity of the exterior and interior of the premises to reduce entry points of potential pests. This may include the use of internal barriers such as strip curtains, keeping all foods and ingredients well contained and rotated so as not to provide attractants for pests, keeping garbage, recyclable materials and similar items well contained or covered, introducing measures such as baits and sprays, fumigants, insectocutors, or traps, where pests are already present within or suspected to be within the premises. Buildings should be kept in good repair and condition to prevent pest access and to eliminate potential breeding sites. Holes, drains and other places where pests are likely to gain access should be kept sealed. Wire mesh screens, for example on open windows, doors and ventilators, will reduce the problem of pest entry. Animals should, wherever possible, be excluded from the grounds of factories and food processing plants. The availability of food and water encourages pest harborage and infestation. Potential food sources should be stored in pest-proof containers or stacked above the ground and away from walls. Areas both inside and outside food premises should be kept clean. Where appropriate, garbage should be stored in covered, pest-proof containers. Pest infestation should be dealt with immediately and without adversely affecting food safety or suitability. Treatment with chemical Physical or biological agents should be carried out without posing a threat to the safety or suitability of food. Pest Control Contractors Pest control contractors must be sufficiently qualified and licensed to facilitate required services. Likewise, where the pest control is managed by a food business, the participants must have appropriate training regarding the safe storage and use of the relevant pest control chemicals. Some food safety legislation requires pest control technicians to have a specified license for their interactions within the pest control process. Copies of relevant and current licenses should be readily available as a component of the documented pest control program. In addition to the treatments and applications that a pest contractor may use to assist with control of pests, the establishment and management of it play a key role in the prevention, control and eradication of pests. Bird control. As with requirements for all pests and vermin, exclusion is the preferred method for bird control, so it is important to maintain structural integrity of the premise. Keep access doors closed when not in use. Consider use of automated external doors. Keep product enclosed and remove any spillages, particularly of items such as seed and grain. In some countries, 
baiting and shooting of nuisance birds is permitted by authorized pest controllers. These techniques are usually applied as a final option. Fly and flying insects control. Food establishments must have an effective fly and flying insect control program. The following methods are commonly applied to achieve effective controls of flies and flying insects. Exclusion All openings to the outside must be properly equipped with self-closing doors, closed windows, proper screening and controlled air currents. Broken or torn screens need to be promptly repaired. Proper cleaning All equipment used in the food operation and all areas of the establishment, especially under and behind equipment, must be properly cleaned of food scraps. Proper waste disposal Dispose of garbage and liquid waste properly and frequently. Chemical control. Certain chemicals can be used in food establishments for fly control provided they are used according to manufacturer's instructions as stated on the label and SDS sheet. Be especially careful to not contaminate food or food contact surfaces of utensils and equipment. Automatic spray systems and chemical pest strips can be used provided they are not used in food preparation areas. Pest strips are specifically prohibited in areas where foodstuffs are prepared. Other control methods, for special fly problems, other control methods such as electrocution screens, fly traps and sticky fly paper can be used. These devices cannot be located over or close to food, food preparation areas or equipment storage areas. Cockroach control. Although sanitation can reduce feeding and breeding sites to some extent, chemical control is almost always necessary to eliminate a cockroach infestation once established. Most often, the services of a licensed pest control operator will be necessary to control an infestation. Also, repeated treatments will always be required to eliminate the pest completely. Did you know that HACCP.com includes resources that allow you to create, manage and implement GFSI and HACCP-based food safety and quality programs? Improve your food safety and quality skills and knowledge? Train and develop your team to create better food safety and quality outcomes. Find suppliers and service providers to partner with your business. The information and training resources available through HACCP.com include a variety of formats, such as website content, MP4, MP4 and text, MP3, PDF and slideshow. Are you ready to take the next step in your food compliance journey? Visit HACCP.com today to create your profile and access the full versions of our food safety and quality information packages and much more.